As soon as I saw the Elizabeth Arden Untold bottles, it piqued my interest because it caught my attention the same way that like Elizabeth Arden Mediterranean caught my attention, you know, where I was like, I really hope I like this perfume because I think it looks really cool. I'd like it in my display. So I recently got a set of miniatures from Elizabeth Arden, which are... Um, it's like an old set of miniatures that I got from eBay and I was deliberately wanting that one because it had a miniature of the original Untold. And I thought, right, I'm going to really investigate these because I kind of thought it was a lovely perfume. And I, I've never really heard anyone talking about these perfumes. It's really hard to find anything on YouTube about them. So I thought I would I would fill that gap. So this is the original Untold. As you can see, it's got this cool bottle. My bottle's a bit battered and bruised, and therefore I got this for a really good price. In fact, I've I've got four of the five that came out. Um, I don't have Leger because it's impossible to get, and to be honest, I didn't think the notes looked particularly interesting to me anyway. So I don't have that, but I have four of, I have the other four and they were all pretty much £20 and under from eBay, secondhand or even like some of these were new, brand new. Um, so this is the fabulous untold bottle, as you can see. Now, um, you'll normally see these photographed from this angle because, I mean, that is sort of how they look coolest. But from the front, they're very circular. So as you can see, it says untold. Let's just get this in focus. So Untold by Elizabeth Arden is down the side. This lovely bottle. Um, I think this is plastic, but it does look like metal. So that's good. So Elizabeth Arden Untold is a very comfortable, cozy, warm pear perfume. It's got it's got it's kind of slightly spicy it smells slightly woody to me but also it's kind of soft and very easy to wear really good everyday kind of scent for autumn and winter i think i don't think this is so strong like or anything like that that you couldn't wear it at warmer times of year i just think that, that there's something about the composition that leans into that kind of cozier time of year so the notes here are top notes of pear, pink pepper, cassis and bergamot. The middle notes are gardenia, Egyptian jasmine, base notes of amber, musk and patchouli. So this one on me, you get this glorious, juicy, lovely pear note. And it is a really genuinely nice pear. And that's what I thought when I was smelling the tiny miniature of this. Is that that pear is just, mwah, you know, it's really nice, really juicy, really pretty, really fresh. But then the other notes in this, you've got those creamy florals and particularly gardenia. Um, and then you've got a warmth from pink pepper. And there's something about that, the pepper, the jasmine um, and the patchouli and amber here that to me makes it smell kind of woody and it gives me i was really surprised not to see cashmere wood in here and i think the, a lot of the other ones do have cashmere wood um listed as a note and i am fairly sure that there's cashmere wood in here it kind of gives me the same feel without the kind of caramelliness that i get from jimmy Choo illicit it's got that same kind of I mean, I think of it as pencil sharpening kind of wood, pencil sharpener shavings, but it's it's much kind of smoother and it's not like it's not so dominating that I dislike it. I normally dislike anything I think smells like pencil shavings, but weirdly in this, in the same way that in Elicit, it just sort of works for it and it doesn't it doesn't make it smell kind of cheap or nasty. This is super pretty. I think the jasmine's probably just a bit woody, but it's not coming across super jasmine-y to me. I think this is like a creamy gardenia, a warm and slightly spicy pink pepper without being too much pink pepper. It's mainly pear, and then you've got a lovely warm amber and a nice musk. It's really pretty. Super, like, office safe. I think it's just a very nice, approachable perfume. And you can get this quite easily on eBay, in the UK anyway. Um, but I definitely think that that one's worth looking for. I think it's really pretty. So if I just put that one over here, looking all lovely. The other thing to say about this, before I forget, is it is its top comparison is Gucci. What's it called? Gucci Guilty. The one in the kind of... Uh, 
gold bottle this kind of square gold bottle that one also has pink pepper but that one's peach it's got jasmine it's got patchouli and amber white musk um so i don't really remember what that smells like i can't remember the last time i smelt it very very long time ago but this is right up there with all the comparisons um, that Gucci Guilty has to other perfumes. This one's quite high up. So next up we have one that this one, I mean, I wouldn't advise you trying to find this one because I only saw one of these. I'd been watching it for ages and I, I sent an offer and got it for quite cheap on eBay because it's a partial bottle. Didn't come with anything. This is nice. But I think it's the furthest departure from the others in this collection. So this is Untold Eau As you can see, it just says that along here. Um, the same silver uh, bit on the outside and then same bottle but with green juice. Very, very pretty. Looks super cool. This one, uh, don't get me wrong, I think it's really nice. It's very pretty, but it's quite light. It's um, as it should be because it's an eau fraiche. And if I read you the notes, what I then say about it and what I compare it to will make more sense. So the top notes here are white tea, mandarin, orange and pear. Middle notes are freesia, orange blossom and lily of the valley. Base notes, cashmere, wood musk and vetiver. This on skin, I mean, on on card, this one, not so much, but on skin, it's very smooth. It's really fresh. It's super pretty. I'm sad that it doesn't have, I mean, it does list pair, but it's very low down in the mix compared to the original. And I think if this had really gone for it with the pair note, it would have been quite special because unsurprisingly, when there's tea in this, although it's white tea, there is definitely a feel of the original Elizabeth Arden green tea in, in Untold Eau Fraiche. But it also kind of smells like Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche, um, Eau Fraiche, I should say, but without the patchouli and without the kind of heavy, heavier base and the slightly, to me, more masculine base that's in Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. So it's it's super pretty whether I keep I'm not entirely sure whether I need this one though to be honest just because obviously like I I love green tea so whether I'd reach for something that smells a little bit like green tea rather than just using the green tea I don't know but at, at the same time I think it's super super pretty I really like it but again it's very hard to find so I just wanted to mention, you know, the ones that are hard to find, I kind of wanted to mention them just in case any any of you guys watching this sees them on eBay or sees them for a steal. So you'll have a bit of an idea about what they smell like. But yeah, that one is lovely. Um, but it's not my fave. So this is Untold Lux. So it comes in this transparent, very reflective box with all this all over it so you can see the back as well there it is so let's have a little look and take this one out this is the one that i was sure was going to be my absolute favorite and i'm still gosh that's noisy i'm still undecided as to whether this is my favorite now it may give a bit of a hint so it's got this gold on the front it may give a bit of a hint as to the fact that this is definitely more autumn winter sweeter thicker because it's got this darker juice and of course then you've got this gold rather than silver around the outside as you can see untold looks by elizabeth arden so this guy oh i think some of my viewers are really gonna love these now lux is also one that's almost impossible to find again so happened someone was selling one on ebay and i just thought to myself okay i'm just gonna snap this up so that i can compare it because um this one gets compared a lot to the to the next one i'll talk about and I just wanted to see whether they actually smelt alike because they've got slight, they've got quite different notes. Um, but, you know, with perfumes, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, you know. <laughs> so the, the notes in Untold Lux are pink pepper, rose petals, and then the middle notes are white chocolate, cinnamon, orange blossom, jasmine. The base notes are bourbon, vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, and labdomen. Now... <sighs> 
I do. I, I mean, I definitely get white chocolate. There is a spice from the pink pepper. I'm just going to sniff my hand where I've got this one. I mean, it's gorgeous. It starts off with quite a lot of that pink pepper. And then you get the kind of it's got a, it's got a lot of benzoin in this. So it has that kind of almost Christmassy, almost slightly gingerbready smell that you get with loads of benzoin. Um, if you don't like benzoin, then the chances are these perfumes might not be for you like these last two. But I think it's so well balanced with the sweet notes because there is definitely a noticeable white chocolate. There's a lot of vanilla um maybe i can sense a bit of the labdomen i can definitely sense pink pepper when i first spray it i'm uh, i'm not sure how cinnamony this is it's just got a warmth to it and then the vote suggests that the rose is the is the strongest floral here and that's fair enough because i don't get a huge amount of jasmine and orange blossom which aren't at all my favorites um, and then again, you've got that kind of, it says sandalwood, but it still has. And that's why it's probably partially the jasmine that's giving me this slight kind of woody pencil shaving -y thing. But it's super pretty. It's really sweet and cozy and warm. And it's just generally lovely. Um, I really, really like this. I think it's going to be perfect for autumn winter because it is warm. It's like classic, very sweet, warm, spicy, you know, but it's not sickeningly sweet despite it being, um, despite it being white chocolate. So yeah, I really like that one, but I'm going to jump quite quickly to this other one just because I think they smell, I mean, I can literally hardly smell the difference. So Untold Absolute here in this very very gold bottle so this one this is a big boy <laughs> gonna have to move all of these along to fit this big boy in so untold absolute is i mean it's so similar to this it's so so similar it's the same warm uh, kind of spicy it's the same it's the same level of sweetness it's really really pretty but it's also way easier to find so i think untold lux is almost impossible to find but untold absolute is really easy to find so i'll read you the notes they should smell quite different but they really don't to me anyway so the top notes of absolute are plum ginger raspberry and bergamot middle notes are um, egyptian jasmine flowers and narcissus the base notes are tahitian vanilla tonka bean benzoin and cashmere wood so again you've got that kind of slight pencil shavingy wood but you've got these lovely fruits at the top um that give it a, a maybe a tiny bit more brightness than lux You've got the spices coming from ginger this time, but you've still got that kind of gingerbready warm benzoin. And then in, you've got a very tonka bean heavy vanilla and there's a lot of vanilla and a lot of tonka bean. And that in itself gives a slight white chocolatey vibe. So I, I really struggle between deciding which one of these to keep because I mean, I prefer the size of the smaller bottle, but I prefer the bottle on Absolute because I prefer the version that doesn't have <laughs> doesn't have the, the painted stuff on it. But this is really tricky for me because I've been wearing them both and I've been trying to differentiate between the two. So logically, I should prefer the white chocolate and rose. So I should prefer Lux because um, it apparently according to everyone else's votes the rose is stronger than the jasmine and the orange blossom the white chocolate is the strongest note um and you've got like a, a spiciness from pink pepper but the benzoin's probably on about the same level as is the woodiness um of absolute and absolute it's supposed to be stronger in the jasmine but i'm not sure that that's quite how it comes across to me and I do love the kind of plum and raspberry that you get in that one. Although they don't list any fruits for Untold Lux, but they smell so similar. Um, I'm just, 
They're basically both absolutely lovely and they are almost indistinguishable from each other. I think you would re I think if I just gave you these two different perfumes on strips of paper or sprayed them on each of your arms and didn't tell you which one was which, I don't think you'd be able to guess which was the kind of white chocolate rose, which was the vanilla tonka bean jasmine and plum you know I, I don't think you'd necessarily be able to differentiate between the two so I I'm gonna have to give a full wear test to these two before I decide which one I'm gonna hang on to but it might just be that I'll pass on Lux in case anyone else really really particularly loves that version or that works the best on their skin because untold um absolute is much easier to find and therefore like you know I might as well just hang on to this bigger bottle of it but I'm really looking forward to trying these out um this one super pretty but again probably not one I actually need to keep in my collection this one also really pretty I'm just trying to decide whether it's actually like my favorite pair or not <laughs> do you know what I mean because sometimes I think I've got so many pear perfumes, it's just deciding which one that I'm going to wear. And like, am I going to reach for, if I want a warm pear, am I going to reach for this one over like Donna Aqua? Probably not. But one of these guys is definitely staying with me because I think these are absolutely gorgeous autumn, winter, sweet, cozy, enveloping perfumes. And if you see any of these on eBay for cheap, I highly recommend them. I think they're actually all really nice and they're all super cheap and cheerful. The last thing I'll say about these two is that it they get compared to Givenchy's Dahlia Divin. So I don't know what that perfume smells like. I've not smelt it myself. That one's supposed to be Mirabelle and Jasmine and Pink Pepper and Sandalwood and Vanilla. It's got Rose and Orange Blossom and all kinds of stuff going on in it. But these two are supposed to smell quite a lot like that. Um, so I'm just putting that out there in case anyone likes Dahlia Devin and it's too expensive for them. Maybe these could be some really good alternatives. But yeah, so that's my little vid about the Untold collection from Elizabeth Arden. And I think these are really fun. I love the bottles. Definitely worth trying to get hold of. I think they're gorgeous. Um, let me know down below if any of you guys have ever tried these or if you have any of them. See ya!